It begins with a dream, then a blink, then a yawn, then a sigh. It begins with an open sky, dazed with the morning mist, an old potter's house, a thought, a memory. It begins with a mother's faith, a burning candle, a daughter's forgiveness, a pull, grab and shake and eventually a fall. It ends with a tear, shaken inside and frozen on the out, her eyes glazed with blinding regret. A response too late and a goodbye unsaid, an assumption that shook all the content in her head. Words made of gold and threaded in silver remain masked on her eyes and stamped on her lips. Dried bones and broken flesh, sealed in a cold white bag labelled with rubbish, an estranged clear flask with lavender stories and 60 cents worth of a phone call on Christmas. A filtering scent of an absent spirit, grief comes in waves like an unsettled ocean. A mother's guilt flickers with the backyard light while forgiveness is shaped within a fiery kiln. There's an empty backpack that holds heavy to the heart and dried clay hands that point into the wild. Down, down, deep into a hollow highway, the city lights linger in the distant past. Colours of a world that brighten with blame and light up the demons of fault and shame. Wild and chained she walks until the ground becomes her, the trees her veins and the sky her eyes. It's a duet between skin and light, a dance for two, but one out of sight, unseen and unknown, but protected and preserved. She is lost to the world, but found in the one. She is dense and her roots deep. Her spirit stretches along the forest bed. The earth holding tightly to her detached remains and treasures of royal found in and throughout. This is the exact place they found her amongst the wild flower and leafy vines, between the shadows of a vision and grace. Her memory lays beneath it all. She is found in this place. She is found.